Hi, I am Dr. Christine Lee, procrastination coach, and today I would like to talk to you about five strategies for overcoming your procrastination. I get on live every week to share these kinds of tips so that you can move past your procrastination and get on towards living the best life that you know you can lead. So the first strategy for overcoming procrastination is to get real and know that unless you can take a picture, snapshot, of you doing the action that you're intending, it doesn't really count as an action. So the first step is to know that you need to be able to take a picture of you doing the work in order for it to count as real action. If you're thinking about your project or if you're feeling something about your project, that's all well and good, but it doesn't really count as effective action against your procrastination. Thinking and feeling things can keep you stuck for weeks, if not months. So get past those thoughts and feelings and make sure the actions that you take are snappable. Second tip is to take small, continuous action. We sometimes, looking at social media, might think, oh, this has to, I have to be this much further ahead than I am right now, when really what is required is that you show up every day and you do small steps towards that goal. You might have big lofty goals and that is great. You should, should keep those big visions in your head. But how are you gonna get there? You're gonna get there through small daily steps. Don't trick yourself into believing that you need to go by leaps and bounds all the time because really progress doesn't often happen that way. Third step is to do what you can. Sometimes procrastination just takes root because we feel like we can't get past our feeling of disappointment in ourselves. So the best way to move past those yicky, yucky, stucky feelings is to do what you can. Take a timer, set it for 15 or 20 minutes and do what you can. Again, don't have those lofty goals, don't be perfectionistic and just get 20 minutes of something done, something towards your goal, something meaningful that will count, okay? Uh, fourth tip is don't treat everything as a precious jewel. Nothing, almost nothing is precious and procrastinators have a way of treating every task, every project, every interaction as something that needs to be rock solid, perfect all the time. But I'm here to tell you that you don't need to be like that. There's almost always time to tweak things, to improve things, to become better and more skilled at your craft. So don't start thinking like you need to be perfect right out of the gate because that is a recipe for procrastination. Fifth and final tip, if you don't like the situation that you're currently in, you're stuck in a crappy job, or you're writing your dissertation and you're just done with it, you can't stand it anymore, or you're in a relationship that is just bringing you down, if you're stuck in some life situation that you don't prefer, that is a reason to stop procrastinating and to move faster. Instead of feeling defeated and frustrated and like you're, you're gonna slow down, ramp it up get a coach, get a friend, get a way out because there is so much out there for you that lies ahead that you will prefer, that you've been dreaming about. And so why stay stuck in procrastination and in situations that don't serve you in any way, either for your heart, your heart or your mind. So those are the five strategies. In summary, take a snapshot of those steps. Don't treat everything as a precious jewel or precious project because almost nothing is. Start taking small daily continuous actions. Start where you can and get yourself quickly out of situations that don't serve you or suit you because you were meant for bigger things and better things and a happy life. I am Christine Lee, Procrastination Coach. I wanna invite you to join me inside the Procrastination Coach Facebook group if you're not here already. I am in there every week and now's a great time to sign up to join the free group because next week starting April 15th, 2019, I'm gonna be doing daily mini trainings in the Facebook group as um, a uh, to generate excitement for the fact that also on April 15th, I'm going to be opening doors to my Freedom From Procrastination 
uh, Freedom from Procrastination membership program. The doors open to this membership group only twice a year, and April 15th marks the first time this year that I'm opening the doors to new members. It's a great program where I show up live every week to teach small groups of people what they need to know to get unstuck, to get on with things that are specific in their situation. Uh, I coach specifically to the individual's needs for breaking through their blocks, their emotional blocks or their organizational blocks. And I would love to have you join me if you feel like I'm the right coach for you and if you feel like it's time to get rid of your procrastination. So follow the links in the descriptions and in the comments and I will see you soon. Take care. Good luck. Bye.